Hey, what's up, y'all? Look, I want to answer a question I get all the time. What's the difference between federally and private insurance, right? Private life insurance. And there's three main points that make a difference, right? Between the two of them. One is your private life insurance is based on your personal health. The federally, which is the federal employee group life insurance, is not based on your personal health. It's based on the health of the entire group, right? Number two, private life insurance is a fixed cost, right? Federally, it's not. Federally goes up every five years, right? So when you turn 45, it goes up. When you turn 50, it goes up. When you turn 55, it doubles. When you turn 60, it doubles. And I'm gonna give you an example in a minute of, of, a, of a session we just had the other day with a lady, because we do do one-on-one -on -one sessions. If you want one, just click the link below. We'll do that for you, and we'll walk through this personally for you, help you meet your family needs. But, um, so yeah, the federally price goes up every five years. Also, with the property insurance, your term can go a lot longer with the federal because the federal begins to drop when you turn to the drop. And not only like that, the cost gets so high, most people drop it long before that. Right? So look, here's an example. A lady by the name of Nina, 53 years old, salary at 116, 100. Um, and again, we had a session with her the other day. If you want to book a session, feel free to drop a comment below or click the link below. We'll have one of my people will reach out to you and I'll make sure we set something up for you. But for Nina, she came in because she was at, she had a salary of 116. 100, her, her amount of life insurance because she had four times her salary was at $69.33 per pay period, okay? That's right now at age 53. When she turned 55, oh, and how we got these numbers, and how we got these numbers is, we one, we looked at her pay stub to see what she was currently paying, but to get, to get these future projections, we went to Fegley Calculator at opm.gov. Um, I have a video on that. If you would search our page, you can look for it, or I'll just post a link below, um, but just ch check that video out. So I put those numbers into the uh, federal calculator, and at age 55, she's going to be getting, she's going to have to pay $111.45 per pay period, okay? Then, and that's at 55, then at age 60, for $587,000, she'll be paying $223.77 per pay period for that, right? Now that's the federal cost. Now here's what we did for her, though. We put her in our own private policy, same amount of coverage, fixed for 20 years, fixed for 20 years, and she's paying $50.35 per pay period. And that's all the way until she turns 73. So if you look at this, when she turns 60, she's be paying $223.77 per pay period for the same amount of coverage. But she's not gonna pay that at 60. But if she, what the policy we put her in, she's paying $50.35 per pay period all the way until she turns 70. So she has that peace of mind, this extra money, we have her put in the TSP, she can retire with peace of mind. So look, if you're anything like Nina, was anyway, paying for effectively, just not, most people just don't know because they don't ever look at their pay stuff. If you're, if you're a person like that, click the link below, reach out to us, we would love to help you, you know, leaving one legacy at a time is our mission.